the last month or so, I've really been dialed into trying to grind out Damascus. Not like on a level where I burn myself out entirely and after a day or so, I don't want to play anymore for the next week or two. But I'm trying to pace myself out and keep it to a point where I don't drive myself crazy, but for the first time since the max camos have been introduced all the way in Black Ops 3, that I actually complete it. I'm sure that you've seen the progression here in some footage on the channel, me using some of the weirdest combos or like pistols only like yesterday's video. But now that I'm actually kind of close to the finish line, we've gotten to those challenges that you just, you just wish did not exist. In the process of suffering, it got me thinking, is whatever challenge I'm doing at this moment the actual hardest thing to do in Modern Warfare, or is there something more? So today, I want to examine with you guys a handful of challenges that are absurdly hard, absurdly time-consuming, and some you may never even know existed. So as we go along, let me know, what's the hardest challenge in-game to you? And even better, what's the hardest challenge you've ever attempted in Call of Duty history? As well, if you are new to the channel and you're interested in daily Modern Warfare content, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're a little over 300 away from 300,000 subscribers, so the content will still be here all the same, but if you're interested in becoming a part of the community and at a milestone time, the option's there. But anyways, let's talk about these challenges, and let's start with the catalyst for this entire video, the rage-inducing, profanity-laden KD Bomber final challenge set that is for the Riot Shield. For those that haven't gone for Damascus, they haven't tried to get camos really done, they're just playing to play, well, firstly, I envy you, and I envy the fact that you don't have to know this pain, but the final challenge set for the Riot Shield follows very similarly to basically all of the other weapons weapons out there that have kill streaks attached to the challenges in which it is three kills with riot shield without dying. Now there's earlier in that progression of the camos a challenge set that is two kills without dying which is fine but that third why is there never a third or why do you always choke it? That's something that I run into all the time. I can find two with absolute ease but the third for whatever reason just becomes absurdly hard to do. Fortunately though if you're going for camos like Damascus or even just want to do gold on the riot shield fortunately the majority of riot shield challenges are actually bugged. Pending no fixes, which we haven't seen been made since launch, things like the kills while injured, kills with dead silence, kills near smoke, buzz kills, and finishing moves, those are all busted and they track like normal kills, which means that 50% of arguably the worst weapon to use in the game's challenges can be a breeze, thankfully. But the final challenge set after you rank it up, those three kills without dying, that's the real kicker and the one that I cannot wait to complete. But let's talk about some other stuff here with this one because while that one has been absolutely destroying me, it's only up there as one of the toughest challenges to complete. The next one we'll talk about is that of the blue dot, which if you don't use optics all that much or you don't pay attention to the customization of reticles, you may not know even exists. Now the blue dot is exactly what you think. It's like the red dot, but it's just blue. So a very minor change and alteration to that customization, but to get it, you have to go through an absolutely insane gauntlet of challenges. The gauntlet goes as follows. Get Get 200 kills using the Operator Reflex site, get 50 headshots using the Operator Reflex, get 200 kills while using the AMOP Reflex site, get 50 headshots while using the AMOP Reflex, get 200 kills using the Viper Reflex site, then get 50 headshots with that same Viper Reflex site, get 200 kills using the Monocle Reflex site, and again, get 50 headshots using the Monocle Reflex site, and then there's a slight deviation here to that pattern, in which we then see get 3 kills in a single life 50 times using any optic, and then finally to unlock the blue dot, you have to get 500 kills using any reflex site. So again, that's quite the grind for just a different colored reticle, but it's one that tasks you with a various host of different challenges here and takes quite a bit of time. So it's a grind no less, but one that I think is kind of slipped under the radar for most people and is one that I don't see many people attempting. Now we're going to jump across and talk a little bit about spec ops. We're going to round back out with some campaign and finish with a little bit of MP again, but you'll end up seeing that in spec ops, there's a decent bit of customization that players may not be entirely to aware of and stuff that even carries over into MP in some capacity. So for the first one, we'll talk about the hardest challenges here with this and also some of the most exclusive is that of the exclusive blueprint you end up getting by completing all of the classic spec ops missions rewards. If you get three stars on every classic spec ops mission, you end up getting the final reprieve origin 12 shotgun blueprint. Now, of course, this is a tougher challenge because you have to get three stars on every single challenge. Again, another gauntlet of challenges to complete with each mission being their own separate standalone challenge and once you do that then you finally end up getting rewarded with that origin 12 blueprint now is it something you may use well that's up to you i don't know if you use the origin 12 all that much or not and the blueprint itself from the preview though you can't really take a look at it in game and inspect it it doesn't look to be anything too flashy so if you're a completionist you may want to go for it but other than that again it may be a tougher challenge but you may not be interested in going for it another one that's tough is 
especially if you play solo, is something that translates over into MP, also like that blueprint. But the operator of Zane, whose challenge to unlock him is to complete all the given co-op operations. Now, to my knowledge, I do believe this works, like how Damascus and Platinum works for the weapons of each classification. It's only the ones that were at the base, the ones that came with the shipped game, the DLC ones and the ones that come afterwards. I don't believe that counts towards it. But regardless, if you've played Spec Ops, you'll know that some of these are incredibly tough. The infinite spawning waves, the absurd AI with it, and some of the challenges that go along with it, it just becomes a tall task if you don't have a squad of players that you can communicate with and that know what they're doing. It certainly isn't like the easy peasy Spec Ops missions of the Modern Warfare games in the past, where some were incredibly easy and you could just absolutely breeze through. But regardless, talking about the final thing relating to Spec Ops is that of something that, again, translates over into all areas, but that of a mission challenge challenge for the Silver Star Aug Blueprint. This mission challenge in particular is again all Spec Ops oriented and is another gauntlet of challenges that will task you with things you may not otherwise do and some things that may not be easy in some missions. That gauntlet including getting 100 kills with sniper rifles or marksman rifles in any co-op operation, getting 50 juggernaut kills in any operations with Otter as your coalition operator, so a little more specific on that one, execute 20 finishing moves in any operation, destroy 10 tanks in any co-op operation, get 50 kills the precision airstrike in any co-op operation and complete any four co-op operations. Now, the thing that goes along with this is that it becomes a lot more tedious than maybe other gauntlets of, say, unlocking the blue dot. Because while that is tedious in its own right, these, you can't do these challenges unless you complete one after the other. So, you'd have to complete four co-op operations after already doing however many more it would take to get those first couple of steps done and completed. It may take you one co-op operation or maybe five to get 100 kills with a sniper rifle. It may take you one co-op operation or three with a juggernaut and so on and so forth. But on top of all that, you gotta cap it off with completing four more co-op missions. So it's quite a hefty grind for that and for a blueprint that you may or may not again find it worth it, but a hefty task and hard challenge here in Modern Warfare no less. Jumping over to campaign very briefly here at this, we're gonna talk about two in particular, these dealing with different trophies and achievements. The first of which being the Out of the Fire Challenge, which tasks you with completing every campaign mission on veteran or realism difficulty, which if you've played either of those, it's incredibly tough. And for a campaign that lasts around six hours to begin with, getting absolutely annihilated by the AI and having to restart at your last checkpoint might not be the easiest thing to go for. And again, only for that challenge. You end up getting a trophy or an achievement depending on what platform you're in. Is it worth it? That's up to you. And again, talking about campaign, talking about basically everything in terms of challenges overall, there's the tier one challenge trophy or achievement in which that tasks you with unlocking all trophies and all achievements, meaning completing every single one, including that last out of the fire challenge for Modern Warfare. And according to PSN profiles, only 0.8% of players have completed this with, of course, that data being logged on PlayStation, so probably comparative results on also PC and Xbox. So a very, very slim amount of players have completed this compared to the general populace that is Modern Warfare's player base. But coming now full circle back and talking about our final items here, coming back down to simply MP, one of the toughest challenges that thankfully again, like we talked about with some of the Riot Shield challenges, is bugged, is that of the destroyed ground killstreaks with launchers. If you didn't have this counting towards your counter UAVs, towards your personal UAVs, it would be a lot tougher to end up completing these and, of course, therefore getting gold, platinum, and Damascus with the launchers. The launcher challenges are incredibly tedious as is, but when you consider the fact that there's really not all that many ground-based killstreaks, such as your shield turret, your sentry gun, your wheelson, and, of course, then your juggernaut, those are the only ones that are available. Everything else comes from the air or something that is dropped down that are support. So, personally, I do always wonder if those personal UAVs and those counters are actually meant to count towards them or if they're actually bugged, since they're, in some cases, is tied to the ground. The counter UAV is static, placed over one area of the map on the ground, so maybe it counts towards it for that. And of course, personal UAVs are tied to the player on the ground as well. So ground-based in some capacity, but still challenges that get incredibly tough. Now, another one that is incredibly tough, just given how Modern Warfare plays, how the maps work out, how the playstyles of players in the community work out, and of course, how long of a streak you have to go on, is unlocking the Mighty Mushroom new calling card. Now, this being for a nuke, which 
which is a 30 gun streak and is something that if you had one before this was introduced you gotta get another one to end up getting the mighty mushroom calling card we talked about this here on the channel before so we don't want to stay too on this one but it is a tougher challenge no less again given all of those variables that could happen at any point in your streak and i guess really coming full full circle now with this damascus in general though it's not a specific challenge is something that is incredibly tough and incredibly hard it's tedious it tasks you with mastering every single weapon it tasks you with doing some incredibly specific challenges and therefore hopefully when i complete my grind here with it it's worth it but that's ultimately where we're gonna wrap it up that's the hardest challenges within modern warfare let me know if i've missed any of them down there in the comment section down below if you guys know of any challenges that are tougher that we didn't necessarily include in this list and again let me know your thoughts on what you think the toughest challenge in call of duty history is let me get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below but hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so it was a single thing regarding all things modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram those are the best places to get connected outside of youtube practice live on both those if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below that said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace